what you can't hear right now, Dave, is they're playing the music for 40 years oh, no. now. I count on Dave. Do you remember when they did that <laughs> promo with you? <laughs> All right, so here we are. Welcome back to Minnesota Live. We are broadcasting our entire show here at the Oasis Cafe in lovely Stillwater. And I can't believe how packed this place is for a Tuesday morning. It is. Uh, it's super packed. It's a lovely spot. I can see why people hang out here. Somebody who regularly hangs out here is our own former chief meteorologist, Mr. Dave Dahl. Dave, how are you? I'm doing really well. This is awesome. This is a place where you can hang out and enjoy a wonderful breakfast. And I love the name of your show, Megs and Eggs. I mean, who came up with that? That was awesome. Somebody got paid a lot yeah. of money Some to come up with that back one. at the station. I was thinking As that. you know how it works. <laughs> the same person who came up with that song. Yes. <laughs> Dave, you just said you feel like Norm when you come here. I, I do, I, because everybody, everybody says hi, and I love it. It's just a very nice place to come. And uh, I do come here a lot, so they yeah they know who I am when I come in. Is your meal ready when you get here? Do you get the same thing? A lot, yeah. I usually get the same thing, and, and most of the time it is ready for me. But, um, yeah. It's what do you great. get? I get a piece of French toast, just a, one single piece, two eggs over easy on top of that, Ooh. and then Lynx sausage. Oh, That's you that. keep it simple, like a good old like American that. breakfast. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Well, you should have seen what they sampled for us over there. <laughs> it's ago. still sitting over there yeah. right now, too, and I'm dying to not Burgers, go over and eat burritos. it. I'm like, just keep bringing the food with us over here. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, it's been fun. Everything has been been great. You know, I've enjoyed life, and I've enjoyed my kids. Yeah, let's talk about that. So we typically do something on Minnesota Live called Five Facts, where we bring someone in in the community that people would know, and they share with us five facts about themselves that most people don't know. So we're going to do this little game with you today, Five Facts. What has Dave Dahl been up to since retiring? Five facts people don't know about you. First one is you're pretty involved in Lumberjack Days. Yes, I love Lumberjack Days. The, the guys that have kind of rejuvenated that, that uh, Lumberjack Days went downhill for a little while, and now they're bringing it back. And it was awesome this year. We had a lot of bands. I don't even know how many. But they asked me to introduce those bands out oh, on the fun. barge that was out in the river. It's just a great setup. It's a great venue. Uh, you know, and everybody has fun there. And I've, I've been to Lumberjack Days for years, and it's fun now to be a part of it. It's such a draw, and when they had to cancel it during COVID and those times, it was really a big loss for this community. So it's good to see that it's back and doing so well. Absolutely. Awesome. I was a little surprised to hear that uh, after all your time out chasing storms, uh, that's still something that you're spending some time doing. Yes, I enjoy that, and I've had a lot of help. Jonathan, you have yeah. helped me a lot uh, with, you know, as I get out on the road. And there was once I was out there for 18 hours this past spring, early in southeastern Iowa, and I caught a tornado that was on the ground for 42 miles. Oh yeah! Unfortunately, it did a lot of damage, and it, uh, you know, it, it was, it was one of those things where I got there before the help got there for these uh, people that had, their whole farmstead had been wiped out, but they survived. They stayed. They were in a trailer, and it was two oh, gosh. older gentlemen, and it was just. You know, I got there before the, the cops got there. I got yeah. there before the medical people got there, but they were fine. And But their whole farmstead was wiped out, and they just came out in tears, you know, and they, they saw what had happened. Oh, gosh. Wow, that's heartbreaking. It, it really was. And that, those are the things that I don't appreciate about the whole thing. I, I, I do enjoy chasing the storms just because I, I did that for so long, and I, I followed these storms and followed the upper Midwest has the most interesting weather that you can ever have. Yeah. Know? And uh, that's just one of the things I enjoy still doing. Well, and the reason that you do it, and it's the reason the, the people who are doing it for the right reasons, is to be out there and to be able to warn people and, uh, you know, ultimately probably why you got into weather in the first place. Absolutely. And that was uh, because of tornadoes, as a matter of fact, that it really got me interested in that. But that's, yeah, it's not, not out, out there to be a, be a thrill, but, it, it, you know, we do try to help people. And that, yeah. that's that's the main reason. Absolutely. And to understand the weather. Okay, let's talk a little bit about your travels, Dave, and your retirement. You're you're starting to travel. You're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sweating. This you know it's, it's been a long time since I've been in front of the lights. Calm, uh, cool, and collected, yeah, you, Dave. I'm not. Um, but yeah, I'm very fortunate to be a part of uh, Carousel Travel. Doug Morehouse, wonderful man, and uh, yeah, we get to go on the Mediterranean cruise, which we're. What? Bringing, I think 38 Minnesotans are coming along with us, and it's a thing. Uh, it's a bucket list item, obviously, and because of Carousel Travel. I get to enjoy this now, and that's, that we're looking forward to it. I think that we should go with Dave on one of these trips and broadcast Minnesota Live, Megs and Eggs, live from the sea. Live from Dave's cabin. <laughs> <laughs> we're right here now. Dave's, a, Dave's about to go to sleep. 
<laughs> yeah, I can see I, you doing that. I'm into it, Dave. I'm into it. Okay. Uh, so you mentioned a little earlier that you're also getting a chance to spend some more time with your grandkids. Tell us about that. Yes, I love my grandkids. I've got nine grandkids. I've got seven kids, nine grandkids. And I love them all, and they're almost all here. One of them, one of my granddaughters, is now down in Virginia. She rode. This is really interesting. She rode for the Olympic Paralympics, and they got the silver medal. Oh wow! The Paralympics. My daughter, um, Skyler, Skyler Dahl. Yeah. My son and his wife, and then Skyler moved to Virginia because she got a full scholarship to row for Virginia. But they, their team made it. For the for the Paralympics and wow. they, they silver and I'm oh so my proud. gosh that's proud, huge a proud grandfather oh that's huge it's awesome yeah very cool tell me about your kids because some of them have come through the KSTP building right that we've met over the years and it's you and I have known each other for 15 years so I feel like I've like watched your kids grow up your son is 16 one of them and I'm yeah. we're talking about that so yeah. tell me about uh, your kids and what they're up to yeah my um, my son as I said is in Virginia he's 50 years old now and he's in Virginia working for the University of Virginia. And uh, all the rest are right here in town. Um, you know, I've got uh, Allie, my oldest daughter. Uh, she worked for 3M for a long time, and um, she's in North Stillwater. And then um, after that, <laughs> goes, I've got Ann, uh, Jace, and he's li living in Minneapolis. He's doing great. And let's see, what am I? Kayla. Kayla and Brittany are awesome. They're back. They were in California. They came back. Um, so I, I love having them all Jax. close by. And then Jax is with me and, and my, uh, I live in an apartment now, so I'm, it's just one of those oh things. Oh my gosh, Turn I, that's the thing I'm looking forward to about Turn retirement more yeah. than anything, is not dealing with the house. <laughs> yeah. And can I just ask Dave one more question? You have not aged one bit I know. Yes, since I the know. moment I met you in 2008. Oh, you're so sweet. You have not. What is your secret? People want to know. Uh, I sold my soul. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> no. I, it's I, clean living. That's been, what it is. I've been very, very fortunate. I, I'm blessed, I guess. You look great. Thank you for joining you. us. Thank it's you. so this good to see you. This is fun. It's been fun seeing you guys. You guys look Good fantastic. to see you, Dave. Again, uh, I, I, feel free to bring us along on that vacation. 